Hello! Today I am making rose scented soap. Now, I never thought I liked rose scent, but you know what? This smells so good. And I never realized it reminds me of those play um, makeup kits and perfume kits that little girls used to have. I didn't realize it was rose fragrance that they used in that. Hello! And so, takes me back to when I was eight. But this one is from Essential Depot. You can get the link in the description below. I have never used it. I don't know. Floral fragrances usually accelerate. Trace, which means it makes your batter get really, really thick. So we'll see. I have no idea what to expect from this, but let's give it a try. I'm super excited. Okay, here we go. So let me get Facebook turned down so you guys can see. Are we situated? We're situated. All right, let me get this stuff out of the way. But I need this. Don't need that. And I need this. Okay. So here we go. I'm making my rose scented soap with goat's milk in it. So let's get our lye water in. Woohoo! Now this is going to be so pretty. All right, let me rinse out my lye bucket. Now, if you want this recipe, mom will put a link. It's on my website. So you can um, get the recipe for yourself. I will show you the molds that I'm using today are my two family homestead mold that I absolutely adore. Look at this. You pop this wonderful hinge. Mom will put the link in there to their Etsy store. Pop it off and look at this. You just take, let me, I don't want it to drop into here. You just take this puppy, slide it out. Woo! Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Daryl from Two Family Homestead for making me this one. If you guys want your own, Mom will put the Etsy link for his store in there, but this is the mold that I'm using today. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. And I am working, still working on liners. I'm still working on liners, but I'm getting closer. And until I can get it done, I am using trash bags, which is fine. Um, these are the super, super thin ones from Costco that you can get for the office liners. And then they don't leave hardly any wrinkles or anything. Okay, so got that, set that there. Now, let me grab my stick blender. So this recipe is on my website, Living on a Dime. If you don't see the link in the description below, go to livingonadime.com and type in soap recipe. It's my olive oil one. I have an olive oil one and just a lye soap one, okay? All right, so here we go. All right, I had people begging for <laughs> to order this already on my live show when I just announced I was going to be making it last night. So I went ahead and put it on my Etsy store to pre-order. This is a pre-order, and it will ship in three to four weeks, so around June 23rd. Okay. So now, let me put in my goat's milk. Okay. Get that whizzed up. of goat's milk that I'm trying to zap here. That's what I'm trying to do. What I should have done was put my goat's milk in with my oils and I wasn't thinking. That's all right. 
Okay, I think I got it. Now, I am going to attempt, ha 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 ha, Tara's famous last words, to do three colors. Now, the problem with floral fragrances is that they, is that they come, they accelerate trace a lot. And I mean a lot. Like if you saw my show last night, the cotton, clean cotton isn't a floral, but it's similar. And man, that sucker just set up on me really quick. But oh my word, guys, they smell so delicious. Now this one here is from Essential Depot. Loving, loving, loving it. Smells just like the perfume that was in my makeup kit when I was a little girl. I did not know that was the rose fragrance in there. And so I uh, was taken back to when I was eight years old. Just loving it. Okay, so let's see. Let's do this one pink. This is a sample I got at the soap conference. Just giving it a try. Um, I really want to so start selling my own mica line. If anybody knows where you can buy micas wholesale, please tell me. Because <laughs> I want to start my own mica line. I just, I don't know. I think that would be great. Okay, so there's the pink. And then this is going to be the red. Oops, wait. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> Thank you for sharing. Bandana Grandma. Thank okay. <laughs> and then this is red. Ooh, I don't like that. Ooh, I really don't like that. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, let me think. Hmm. Hold on, guys. Let me go get another color. Okay, I'm back. Now, that was not the color I was anticipating. And I just brought all my reds in. Oh my goodness, I need to reorder. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Let me think. I thought I had... Okay. Change of plans. A little change of plans here. Let's see. What am I going to do? I do not like that red at all. Oh, green's a good idea. Maybe what I could do is make it pink, green, and white. I think I'll do that. Pink, green, and white. Thank you, whoever suggested that. Michelle, you wonderful viewer, you. Okay. So there's green. Liking that. Okay, so because, okay, so let me get another bowl here because I want more pink then if I'm not going to do the red. So let's pour. Now you will notice I have not put my fragrance in because... Because um, you can see how thick it is because I do a di water discount so I can pipe easier. And um, so let me pour this in. And oh man, don't let me forget to put my fragrance in. Ugh. Okay, but I can't do it yet until I get my colors stirred in because once this baby goes, it's going to go and there is not gonna be time to do anything. So, if it accelerates trace. Now, I don't know that it will, but you know, you should always be prepared is my motto, and I never am. <laughs> well, and you guys love me anyway, in spite of myself, I think. Well, some of you say you do. <laughs> there are days you don't, but that's okay. I will love you with the love of the Lord anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, that love your enemies verse is just really 
annoying some days, isn't it? <laughs> All right. You know, I'm just being honest, just being honest. Okay, now I pre-mixed some white and a little bit of oil. Okay, so now I'm just hand stirring my white to get it started. Mixing in here and I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm gonna need more. And where did I put my white? Here it is. So, so I have my white mixed up in an old ketchup bottle. Works beautiful. Okay. Um, I used to love playing with mud pies. I did, didn't I, Mother? That's true. I never thought about that until my brother slapped it in my face. And my mother, instead of getting my brother in trouble, she was taking pictures of me with mud all over me. I know. Can you believe the abuse that I suffered where my mother just laughed at me having mud all over my face? I'm sure. Okay. Now, I'm just pre-hand stirring these because... Once I get that rose in there, it might go pretty quick. So I want this to be a deep pink. Let me get my spoon here. Add just a little bit more. Okay. Guys, don't let me forget, I have to pick up David by 12 today. <laughs> so let's hope I can get all this done in 15 minutes or 45 minutes. Okay, and it stirred in just a little bit. All right, come on. Okay, there we go. That's looking good. So I'm going to zap all this in just a second, but um, wow, you can see how thick it's already getting. I hope I can get this poured into the mold. I am having a little bit of a moment of hesitation here but I think it will work okay you can order my soaps on my Etsy store mom will put the link in there also if you want to order my how to make soap for beginners e-course mom will put that in there um yay Meredith just got her dining on a dime cookbook mom put dining on a dime in there for them I know my mother was a good mother most mothers in her situative would situative would have completely lost their minds, but she only partly lost it, so that's great. Okay, here we go. All right, let me. Oh dear, a little bit of pink splattered in here. All right, that's looking good. Now, the more you mix it, the thicker it gets, too. So, that's also a consideration. And you also want to use full water, which, ugh. Okay, now I can't get my stick blender done. Which, um, you want to use full water. Come on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Um, there. Full water, which helps keep it thinner. But I want to try and possibly pipe, which I just realized I forgot to get my piping bag. I want to try and pipe. So, let's see what we can come up with here. Okay. So, let's scoot my computer over. Sorry guys, I'm missing comments. I will have to come back and get them in just a minute. Okay, now I haven't forgot my fragrance, don't worry. But I just really want to wait until I get everything set up, which I don't have hardly any space in this kitchen. So this is kind of hard for me. Okay, my hands now are sticky from the soap and the uh, trash bag is mine to stick. Oh, come on. 
you gotta work with me here. Okay, there, that's gonna work. All right, so here we go. So, oh, nope, forgot my fragrance. See, I did forget it. Okay, here we go. So there's a little bit there, a little bit there, and the rest there. Oh, this smells so good. Yum. Okay, you know, I don't like Rose's fragrance like that often, but oh my word, this smells good. Wow. If you guys want this particular fragrance, I got this from Essential Depot. Mom will put the link in there. It's their Rose Garden. Yeah, Rose Garden. Oh my goodness, it smells good. Oh, I love it. Okay, so there's the red. Now the green. Okay. Man, this one's full. Okay, you guys will have to stay with me and I'll answer questions when I switch soaps here, but gotta keep moving on this one. Just can't take a chance that it's going to set up on me. Okay, and then my white. I'm hand stirring it just so it doesn't get thicker on me yet. This is the problem with doing this stuff live is it's hard because when you go to pipe soap, you want it thicker, but sometimes you have to wait like 20 or 30 minutes for your soap to set up thick enough to pipe. So it's kind of hard when you're live to pipe, but we'll see what I can come up with here. Ooh, oh, smelling so good. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pour a little bit of white in. And my handle's in the way. Give me a little bit of white. Okay, this is not accelerating trace like the one yesterday did. So that's really good. Okay, my spatula. Okay, I'm spatula in it. Okay, so now I'm gonna stir this up. Okay, now this is accelerating slightly, but not too, too much. Loving, loving, loving it. Okay, so here we go. accelerating Woo. okay so can't pedal along on this one okay here we go and green and now pink okay now it's starting to set up so let's get moving here Tara All right, now. Okay, you can kind of see it looks kind of like hairy, not really hairy, but I don't know, slimy pieces on the side. That's where it's already setting up. But this did not go as fast as the one yesterday, which is really good. Okay, so then I'm gonna take, and I'm doing a spoon swirl on this. So here's a spoon swirl. You just take your spoon and you swirl. Spoon and swirl. Spoon and drop it in there. Oops. <laughs> spoon and swirl. Oh my goodness, I'm making a huge mess. Okay. Now, got that. 
There we go. Okay. Now, you don't want to mix it. You just want to swirl it. Okay, so now, shake it down. Tapping the air bubbles out. How set up is this? Okay, so this is set up enough that it's accelerating trace slightly, but not enough to pipe it. So I think what I'm going to do is just gently lay it on top here. Very gently. Okay. it all put in and scraped out okay loving 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 this oh this smells so good wow I just never knew it could smell so good DJ is home what's the verdict are you getting LASIK or not possibly possibly did you qualify for the good deal no oh Okay, so getting this spread on here. Looking very pretty. Okay, now I'm not gonna do anything real, real fancy with this. Hold on, let me wash my hands. Okay. Once again, if you guys wanna learn how to make soap, I have my How to Make Soap for Beginners e-course. Mom will put the link in there. It's at livingonadime.com. My How to Make Soap for Beginners e-course. So I think what I'm gonna do with this is spray the top with rubbing alcohol so it doesn't get soda ash. Okay, and then Take my glitter, gotta love glitter, and get my glitter all over it here. Woo, how pretty. Now, after I'm done with this one, guys, I'm gonna make unicorn soap, so if you wanna stay and watch that, you can. Okay, so, getting it on the glitter, just getting it all poofed all over. The world needs more glitter, people, I'm sure. Okay, there we go. Now, I have these soap, hmm. So I think I'm gonna go with these ones here, okay? These little embeds right here. And here we go. So I'm gonna do a sample, and then put these on top. They will be so pretty. Oh, so pretty. If I can keep a straight line going here. All right. Um, you can also buy these at my Etsy store. They are for pre-order and they will ship out around um, June 23rd, my mama's birthday. Happy birthday early, mom, in case I forget. See, now isn't that the, the nice daughter who wishes her mom happy birthday a whole month early? Isn't today the 23rd? Is today the 23rd or tomorrow? No, today's the 22nd. Okay, well, happy er, happy one month and one day early, Mom. Um, my poor mother. I'm talking about Mother's Day, talking about Mother's Day, and I totally spaced that I had a mother on Mother's Day. Oops. Oh, see, that's what I get. <laughs> God was like, what are you doing for getting your mother on Mother's Day? <laughs> okay. These are just melt and pour embeds that I, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, oops, well, 
that's all right. Get more bars out of it, I guess. Should have been 18. All right, so this one is done. I'm going to go set it to the side and I am going to make unicorn soap now, but in between, I'm gonna answer some questions here. So just one moment. All right. Okay, so here's the rose soap that I made yesterday that everybody was clamoring to get. Betty even ordered six bars, oops, before it's even done. <laughs> uh, so if you guys want, this is Daryl at Two Family Homestead. If you're on here, guys, put your link on. This yeah. Mm -hmm. This is Daryl's um, glorious mold that I love. Best wooden mold ever. Look at that, just slide right out. Daryl made this for me, and now you guys can get one too. Put your link in there, Daryl. Okay. If you use soap, try cooking bacon on the grill. No. The other day I opened up our grill and there was two there were two wasp nests in there. Seriously? So I turned on the, the burners to warm up and I closed the grill. <laughs> and I didn't need any spray or anything. Wait, you seriously did that? Yeah. Wow. Uh. That's <laughs> I'm not very fond of wasps, so it well, was fine with me. I mean, and BJ's friend. He had, he saw a huge wasp nest somewhere, and he brought out the flame there, <laughs> and he just burned it. Uh, so it really cool. a couple people said they missed the part where you talked about what the secret ingredient was. Well, go back again? and watch the video. <laughs> Get more view time. I'm no dummy. <clears throat> See, you gotta go for the view time, honey. <laughs> You're not gonna share. They're on Facebook. <laughs> well, okay. The secret ingredient is bacon grease. Everything. Someone said two or three tablespoons. Is that what you said? Yeah. It just depends on how much potato salad you have. You can never have enough bacon grease, but the secret to sugar too much so bacon grease. Cody I mean. asked no onion, and, and Diane says she likes onions, olives, and celery with it. Yeah, if you want onion, that's fine. But mom doesn't like onion, and we're taking it to her, so she would rebel if I had an onion in it, which is fine. Okay, so this is the rose. Uh, let's see. By the way, camera's down, so yeah, there you go. So yes, we are leaving Wichita tomorrow. We don't have it on the website yet, but if you guys order books after um, today, your books will not get shipped until at least probably June 5th or 6th. I don't know when we're coming home. It kind of depends on how much work we have to do at bombs. Patricia said that was so much fun to watch. <laughs> There's my rose garden. Oh man, smell it. Doesn't it smell just like a rose? Mm, yes. It smells just oh, like a rose. Kathy said add chopped dill pickles to make it really good. They're in your yeah. recipe. Did you not add them? No, because I don't have any dill pickles. Oh. So, mm. I just use what I have on hand. <laughs> because... <gasps> yeah, Denise makes life easier. Says, Girl, you are getting so tiny. How are you doing it? What's your secret? Your it's results called... are looking beautiful. Thank you very much. Down. They didn't recognize me, did Mom, they? Down more. Nope, I don't think they recognize me. Because I'm so waif-like, losing 10 three. pounds. <laughs> um, I am... What no, am I doing? No, go up a little. Yeah. yeah I good. am eating more vegetables. And... I'm not snacking. Oh, I'm snacking. I'm and yeah, so I finally got tired of everybody telling me how GMOs are making me fat and pesticides are making me fat. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to prove them wrong. So I am on. Isn't that a good reason to lose weight is to prove somebody wrong? <laughs> <laughs> that's, your, <laughs> that's your best kind of motivator, right? <laughs> really hacks me off. Um, and that's the reason why I'm sick, is all these things. That is not why I'm sick. Um, this one just turned out so pretty. So I've gone on a quest to get the weight off and still eat regular GMO and pesticide-filled foods. And then I'll pre be preserved for life, dear, don't you think? All those like wonderful Like your 90-year-old grandparents? Yes, like my 90-year-old grandparents. <laughs> um, 
So that's all I've been doing is just eating more Andrea. vegetables. Andrea! Andrea Cruz is on. Hello, she Andrea! She says, isn't Dave's birthday coming up and perhaps another birthday? Yes! Me Dave and Jack's and, birthday. Dave and Jack and June are... June 11th and 9th. June 9th and June 11th. Jack's is June 9th. Mine is June Jack's 9th. is June 9th. Okay, this is really weird. And... What is going on? Mom's birthday is June 23rd, so... You guys want to send mom birthday greetings? She will be here for her birthday. Am I supposed to be showing some soap link? So you can show where they can buy my soap. I also have my How to Make Soap for Beginners e-course. Okay. And guess what, guys? I am so happy. Yes? I am going to start selling my own soap colorants. I found a supplier just yesterday. I've got it all planned out. I need to start a, I need to get another soap um, Facebook group going so that I could tell you guys all about my stuff. Yeah. But yeah. this good. one's Rose Garden. I just threw the links up for these on my Etsy store, the ones that I'm cutting now. Are we having a meetup in Kansas? We are not having a meetup in Kansas. I'm really sorry, guys. A little bit. All right, okay. Um, we are having our meetup July 1st here in Mead, Colorado. If you go to show notes, the meetup information is in there. Our wonderful friend, Bandana Grandma, is coming to visit us. The question is, will you be here to see it? And no, we are doing a meetup with Bandana Grandma. So we're super, super excited. We're going to take her and her hubby all around Colorado. Well, not all around Colorado. Are we taking them to our secret spot? We'll probably take them to our secret spot. That one's Rose Garden. Oh, let me get the...